So how is bedwetting related to poor sleep? Bedwetting is related to poor sleep in that um, the hormone that is released to prevent us from bedwetting is released during N3 sleep, which is the deepest stage of non-REM sleep. So when we sleep, we go through non-REM sleep cycle that is three stages. If we are poorly oxygenated, have a compromised airway, then we only stay in N1 and N2 stage sleep. N3 stage sleep is not only when that hormone to prevent us from bedwetting is released, but is also where growth hormone is released and is where our body truly rests and restores during sleep. So if we skip that cycle and we just stay N1 and 2, then we are not getting that restful sleep and restoring ourselves. And this leads into why kids also present with ADHD-like symptoms, because they are very, very hyper as a result of them not, not getting that deep sleep. Their body is just on constant overdrive.